protection and environment example mainly in gaming we are using vr applications so for if you consider augmented reality so this augmented reality is an interactive experience of a real world environment whereas the objects can reside in the uh, real world are enhanced by the computer generated perceptual information so it is defined as the system that incorporates three basic features the first is uh, it is a combination of real virtual worlds real time interaction and accurate 3d registration of the virtual and real objects so if we consider the vr what is vr so virtual reality is a simulated experience so that can be similar to or completely different from the real world so it can include the applications like entertainment particularly video games so as we all know that uh, the pokemon uh, gaming so pokemon gaming uh, uh, app is one of the example and also games like temple run angry birds so these are all the examples of the virtual reality it is also used in education such as uh, in, the, in the fields of uh, medical and uh, military training and business for conducting virtual meetings so if we consider the application areas of the ar vr so ar vr is uh, used in vast applications so namely few we have identified uh, some of the domains so these domains are uh, classified into different uh, fields first is medical second is military third is manufacturing then uh, entertainment marketing geospatial navigation path planning tourism urban planning and uh, civil engineering so if we consider the medical applications so medical augmented reality takes its main motivation from the need of visualizing the medical data so using this one can uh, uh, see through display the ultrasound technician uh, that can view a vol uh, volumetric rendered image of the fetus overlaid on the abdomen of the pregnant woman so it is also used in uh, uh, the angiography applications angiography whenever we um, uh, came through angiography angiography angioplasty so uh, some some of the simulations has been done in order to view where the blockages so in order to view uh, different blockages they are going to use uh, the simulations to be made on the uh, arteries so that is one of the application then uh, next is military ar can be used in order to display uh, the real uh, battlefield scene and augment it with annotation information and extra extra benefit specific for uh, military users may be training in large scale combat scenarios, scenarios and uh, simulating real time enemy action as uh, in battlefield augmented reality system that is called uh, bars bars so the bar system also provides tool to user the environment with new 3d information that uh, other systems users see in turn so next is uh, manufacturing ar can enhance uh, enhance uh, the person's perception of the surrounding world and uh, understanding of the product assembly task to be carried out then uh, next is visualization and so it is considered with respect to architecture and uh, geospatial uh, geospatial applications so it is uh, useful in uh, overlay computer graphics on the real world so it can combine visualization method in order to apply to many applications so one of this is a geoscope so geoscope is a device developed in order to support some of the applications such as uh, city landscape and uh, architectural visualization then next is uh, entertainment as uh, i have already told it has been applied in the entertainment industry to create the games and it also increase it is used to increase the visibility of the important game aspects and uh, the next is robotics so again robotics is one of the field where we are going to use uh, ar vr robots can present uh, complex information by using ar technique so it is for communicating the information to humans then next is tourism in case of tourism arqueo guide where a project ar based cultural heritage on site guide so it is described to uh, provide cultural heritage uh, sites with archaeological information to visitors 
and next comes the main applications uh, with respect to civil engineering that is uh, geospatial so geospatial application where uh, hardware and software are described for collaborative geographic data representation so geographic information as well as the data representation and manipulation by using two interfaces based on ar so ar can ar can be used for the planning of military training in urban terrain as well as it is used to demonstrate ecological barrier and show their locations in the landscape ar technology so also ar combined with gis so we are you know, going to integrate ar vr with GIS application, that is a geographical information system where we are using AR to represent GIS model based landscape changes. So this is considered with respect to immersive environment. So coming to the uh, uh, illustrative uh, methods, we are going to define virtual reality. So it is a digital uh, recreation of the environment around the user and augmented reality overlays the elements virtual elements in the real world so coming to the applications of ar vr in architecture transportation and construction so ar vr is used in architecture and planning so architecture and planning were uh, so these are introduced as assisting tools and it has helped generate multiple design options, expanded the possibilities of the visualization and provided us the more enhanced, detailed and uh, specific experience in real time. Also enabling us to visualize the result of work at hand well and before the commencement of the project. So different tools have been developed for city development decisions, helping citizens interact with local authorities, access public services and plan their commute. So if we consider the transportation and construction, so we are going to consider different applications. So AR in architecture, uh, it is used in, it has uh, added, it adds the enormous value to the architectural projects by effectively portraying what exactly an architect is trying to convey. So in order to view how it looks like, how uh, it is modeled, how it is planned. So that can be uh, demonstrated by using AR. So AR in architecture. So it uh, it is used to showcase the architectural models in a totally new way. So uh, now for we evaluate uh, some of the uh, advantages. So of uh, AR VR in architecture. So it is used to visualize the plans like never before and without any errors. It is used to reduce the errors, shorten the design time and walk through the designs. So one can one can uh, walk through the designs so that the accurate design is uh, um, incorporated. So it is used to provide amazing user experience. Also, it is used in, uh, in order to provide the interactive design development process. So the same is uh, illustrated by using one of the YouTube video. Hello, is that ma'am? Hello. It Ma'am, your voice is not clear right now. No, I'm still. Okay. Hello, ma'am, your voice is not clear.
just a minute. So if we consider the uh, AR in civil engineering and uh, construction, so it offers uh, tremendous uh, benefits to civil engineers and the construction industry. So right from comparing as planned and as built status of the projects, now to enhance the collaboration opportunities, as well as uh, the applications of AR in engineering. So these have helped in improving the performance in different areas of construction and engineering domains. So these are uh, some of the benefits of using ER in engineering environment. So first is efficient translation of architectural uh, drawings. Second is uh, we can uh, we can uh, implement superior design and development, and we can reduce the error during the construction, and uh, we can uh, have better marketing of the construction projects, and easy review of the project design and uh, saving the valuable man hours. And we can reduce the overall cost for planning as well as uh, um, the uh, construction as well as architectural drawings for preparing architectural drawings. So let me skip uh, the videos. So ERBR impact on the transportation, how it is used, how it is beneficial um, in transportation field. So it is used for the supply chain and it empowers uh, the drivers. And uh, the third is uh, futuristic, uh, futuristic uh, AR innovations. So next we'll come to the main uh, topic that is uh, scope of ARVR in surveying and uh, GIS engineering. So let me consider uh, what is uh, GIS and uh, what is uh, 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 surveying and what is uh, GIS engineering. So we can uh, define surveying as uh, it is the technique of determining the relative position of different features on on above or beneath the surface of the earth by means of direct or indirect measurements and finally representing them on a sheet uh, on a sheet of paper known as um, plan or map. So importance of surveying so it is uh, used to fix the national and uh, state boundaries and it is used to uh, prepare the chart of coastlines, uh, then uh, navigable uh, streams and lakes. It is used to establish the control points. It is used to execute the hydrographic and uh, oceanographic charting and mapping. It also used to prepare for the tomographic uh, map of land surface of the earth. And if you consider the GIS engineering as of as uh, all of us know uh, that uh, GIS is a geographical information system. So it is uh, used in order to create, manage, analyze and map all the types of data. Suppose if the data is considered, we can uh, uh, convert that data into the maps and we can analyze uh, different types of data and we can uh, build an uh, app representing the GIS. So even uh, we know that uh, the Google map is one of the GIS uh, uh, tool. There is a uh, geographical information system and uh, it connects the data to a map integrating the location data where the things are with all the types of descriptive information. That is what the things are like there and this provides a foundation for mapping and analysis that is used in science and almost every industry. Uh, every industry uh, needs to have the geographical information system. So it helps the users understand the patterns. The uh, current patterns are obtained from the previous pattern, historical data and uh, relationships. Um, and also geographical context. So different uh, advantages include uh, improved communication and efficiency as well as uh, the better management and decision making. So let me consider, uh, let us consider uh, how it works, how the GIS works. So suppose the data is given, so it is considered with respect to maps, so it is converted to maps. 
then uh, we need to analyze the data and we need to prepare the app. So then what is the purpose of using maps, data, analysis and apps? So we'll consider next. So first we'll consider the maps. So maps are nothing but uh, the geographical container for the data layers and analytics, analytics uh, you want to work with. So GIS maps are also easily shared and uh, embedded in the apps. So these are easily accessed by the uh, uh, by everyone virtually everywhere. So if we consider uh, the next that is data, so GIS integrates many different kinds of data layers using spatial location. So most data has uh, a geographical component, so it includes either images, features or base maps linked to either draw spreadsheets, that is Excel sheets, or it can be in the form of tables. Then uh, third component is analysis how the spatial analysis uh, has been made. So it leads to uh, lets you to evaluate uh, suitability and uh, uh, capability, estimate and predict, interpret and understand and much more. So it led, uh, leading to the new perspectives to your insight as well as uh, decision making. So in order to have the decision making in order to in order to uh, make a decision, so we are going to perform the analysis comparing uh, the one uh, spatial location on spatial data with the other spatial data, depending on uh, the uh, understanding interpretation. And the last is apps. So apps provide the focused user experience for getting work done and bringing GIS uh, to life for everyone. So GIS apps work virtually everywhere. Um, if you consider the mobile phones, if you consider the tablets are uh, in web browsers uh, and also we can use the apps on desktops. So we can uh, develop these apps, we can design these apps. So based on uh, the user experiences in uh, uh, integrating integ integration with GIS. So GIS to life for everyone. So if we consider uh, the AR implementations in construction. So this figure shows uh, the different uh, research areas for the AR VR implementation in construction. So it starts with monitoring uh, the project progress. So significant uh, uh, practical construction challenges of AR applications are the complicated and different examples like uh, lighting conditions and uh, terrain variation. So monitoring project progress research has been conducted for both the hardware and software development. And uh, next is uh, the quality control and uh, discrepancy check. So primary uh, via AR application in construction is uh, the discrepancy, uh, discrepancy uh, check. That is uh, checking the difference between on-site structures and uh, design models. So on-site and actual uh, design models. And the next is quality control. So quality control is another uh, critical ER application in construction. So Hello, ma'am, your voice is not audible. Hello, Mamta ma'am. Hello, hello, ma'am. Your voice is not audible.
participants please wait there is some network issue Hello. There is some network issue uh, from Mem side, so Mem will join uh, within a five minutes. So meanwhile, uh, I just uh, aware you about about the today uh, assessment. We have the thirty questions uh, in the form of uh, Google quiz. Uh, the quiz is open at sharp nine uh, p.m. and uh, it will be closed. Uh, uh, at 9:30 pm so you have 30 minutes to uh, solve the quiz uh, so you submit before 30 minute uh, i uh, just tell it again uh, please submit the quiz uh, before 9:30 if you have any query then please ask hello there is any query related to assessment Sorry. Yes, sir. Please what at is least provide score? one. Yes, sir. Omenda, sir, please. Yes, sir. I provide at least one or two minutes extra because maybe it's a sometime network issue created. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, 9.35 is okay? Just right now. No, from 9 to 9.35 is okay? Sure, sir. We can. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Perfect. Okay, okay. okay. A anyone else? So minimum passing criteria. Uh, as per uh, Atal, uh, you also check in the website. There is uh, overall 70% score in assessment. Means you got the assessment. Uh, you get the assessment at the time of online. Means uh, today, and after the offline, you also get the assessment. And uh, at the last day you have a uh, reflection journal session in which uh, we provide you some uh, solution some solution of uh, some important journals and uh, we provide you the uh, assessment test related to that uh, that type of journals uh, so uh, these uh, assessment is also count so there is three assessments uh, first one is today online assessment second one is offline assessment and third one is reflection journal assessment. So overall uh, criteria for passing 70% score in these three assessments. OK. OK, sir. Thank you. OK. Anyone else who have some doubt? OK. And guys, please join us uh, in offline sessions also uh, because uh, we have very special things for you all. 
we have a special ARVR lab uh, in our campus. Okay, so ma'am is back again. Welcome you, ma'am, again. Okay. Yes, sorry for the uh, interruption. Uh, no, 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 Some uh, internet issue is going on. So here, uh, heavy rain is there at uh, Maharashtra. So that's okay. why. Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll continue. Yes, ma'am. So we'll share first and uh, then continue. Okay, just a minute, ma'am. I just uh, make you as a presenter again. Yes, I'm ha already having that. Okay. Mm. Now the screen is visible. Yes, ma'am, visible. Is it fine? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, if you consider uh, the different uh, research areas for uh, ER implementation in uh, construction, so we are going to consider monitoring the project uh, progress. So, whenever the design model and uh, the already uh, uh, in existence, so there is a difference. So, we need to have monitoring the uh, project progress. And uh, in case of discrepancy check, a primary AR application in construction is uh, the discrepancy check, checking uh, the difference, as I have told, on-site uh, on structures and uh, design models. And uh, the next is quality control. So as uh, the term indicates, so it is controlling the quality. That is, uh, it is another uh, AR application in construction that is inspected uh, the on-site segment displacement during uh, the tunneling construction compared with the baseline model to monitor the construction quality. Then uh, next is uh, assistance for the workers, high efficiency, collaborative visualization and communication among multiple uh, users can be realized by applying uh, AR technologies. So there should be collaborative visualization and communication among the multiple users so they can uh, collaborate it for the work in efficient manner. Then uh, next is collaborative visual, uh, visualization. So, for the collaborative visualization of multiple users wearing HMDs, so using uh, AR beta, all the users can uh, interact with the dynamic visuals of the real-time construction process. So an application uh, has been uh, used in order to share the AR images between the designers and the field site. And uh, telecommunication. So telecommunication can provide high-performance guidance for the workers. And the last is site safety. So it is the significant application uh, which is used in order to guarantee the site safety by visualizing uh, the complex workplace situations with AR devices. So AR system has developed in order to provide the workers, say uh, workers uh, safety information in order to avoid the hazards. So all these are about uh, the different research areas with respect to AR VR implementation in construction. So this is uh, the YouTube video which uh, is used to display the virtual design and uh, construction.
it is mainly used in uh, bio scripts for says understanding it is improve improve coordinate and achieve achieve the goal So these are the different steps which are involved. Monitoring the project progress, discrepancy check, quality control, assisting workers, collaborative visualization, communication, site safety. So all these are considered uh, with respect to five stages as we have uh, seen in the video. That is uh, understanding, uh, then collaborate, uh, followed by innovative ideas, designing and uh, came to the conclusion that is came to the final uh, uh, model. So next we are going to consider uh, the scope for ARPR implementation. So these are considered uh, with respect to uh, four uh, different models. First is building uh, information system that is BIMs and uh, second is structural health monitoring and uh, damage detection. Third is underground utilities and uh, fourth is smart city. So building information model so many researchers classify BIM as an application in the construction. So this is because of extensive implementations of BIM in the construction and uh, it has given the significance AR enhanced BIM, which is ca classified as a separate category in this uh, in this uh, presentation. So combined with AR technologies, visualization potential uh, BIM can perform as a functional decision support system. Then uh, coming to the structural law, uh, health monitoring and uh, damage detection. AR, by, AR based uh, structural health monitoring is suitable for the routine inspection and uh, monitoring than the other tasks. For example, special inspection and uh, testing maintenance are considered under uh, structural health monitoring. And uh, uh, SHM and damage detection. So these are uh, most essential for critical infrastructure during the disaster and uh, post disaster uh, uh, situations. So then ER technology help to capture uh, the real environment that is uh, the building information in the field and re-anchoring uh, the image in a new position. So this is uh, the image where uh, the initial capture interface is considered first and uh, the second image, second picture which representing re-anchoring an image. So we are going to capture the image first and uh, then we are going to uh, uh, represent the relationship between the camera position and uh, the image in terms of position and the pose. So underground utilities. So we are going to uh, find the geological structures. So these are based on uh, the basements, foundations, garages, tunnels, subways, pipelines. So, uh, so under pipelines, uh, water, sewage, gas, electricity, telecommunication. So these utilities are uh, found by considering uh, the GIS. So that is uh, combined with ER, GPR, BIM. So these are merged together. So smart city is uh, one, of, one, of, uh, one of the other uh, facility. So that uh, makes use of uh, BIM as well as uh, the ER, GIS all together. So next uh, we are going to consider uh, 3D modeling. How uh, we are going to model the uh, uh, GIS uh, elements, GIS uh, maps, uh, GIS uh, uh, landscapes by using ARBR, 
So what are the advantages of 3D modeling and what are the characteristics involved? So can we continue or uh, uh, we are going to uh, we'll consider in next session? Yes, ma'am. We, we will consider it in next session. Uh, OK. Uh, uh, let uh, me stop. And uh, we are going to consider ERBR applications in uh, survey. We have already considered the applications and uh, we will uh, consider 3D modeling followed by one of the case study, one or two case studies uh, depending on GIS applications in uh, next session. Uh, so thank you, ma'am, to uh, explain the scope of uh, surveying, uh, the scope of ARVR in surveying and GIS engineering. This is really a wonderful presentation uh, because you also use the videos and uh, uh, animations videos. Uh, so thank you so much, ma'am. So uh, dear all participants, we resume the session uh, after 10 minutes uh, at SARP 8 p.m. OK, thank you. There is a 10 minutes break. Uh, dear participants, uh, so we are going to resume uh, with the second session. So that is uh, 3D modeling of uh, ERVR technologies. So let me start with uh, the 3D modeling. What are the advantages of uh, 3D modeling and uh, what is uh, 3D uh, modeling? So if you consider this uh, figure, so this figure shows uh, the percentage of the AR applications in uh, civil infrastructure. So uh, the first uh, um, figure, uh, the, uh, the first graph, so representing the year wise data and uh, number of uh, uh, references. So out of this, 19% uh, applications are based on BIM, 20% are based on uh, SHM, uh, that is uh, health monitoring and uh, damage detection. And underground utilities finding this covers 10%. Smart city applications with 6%. And uh, construction is about uh, 45%. So this is about uh, how the uh, ARPR applications are used in uh, construction and uh, different manu uh, different uh, architectural uh, plans, the applications of architectural design. So when we consider uh, uh, creating an amazing 3D model, we are going to follow some of the steps. So step one is uh, black, uh, blocking. So during the first step, artist or user makes uh, rough models of the 3D objects and arranges them to form a scene. And he or she focuses on the shell and boundaries of the object. So he, uh, the user focuses on the uh, boundaries and then uh, they uh, displaying uh, the key poses as well as uh, placements of the objects, how the objects are to be placed, how the characters to be uh, created. So that is one of the step. So step one, uh, which focuses on the blocking. Second is uh, detailing, that is adding the detailed uh, information. So we can add uh, the color, we can add the texture as well as uh, the detailed information labels to the uh, model so that uh, the model look uh, smoother and more detailed so that uh, it is also very close to their final shape. Next is uh, texturing. So texturing allows the artist, uh, the user to make the model look more realistic by adding colors, designs and texture. So texture in the form, in the form of uh, coast are uh, sparse and designed uh, in an effective manner by adding the colors as well as uh, shapes. So art of uh, giving the clothes to uh, 3D models. So th th this is nothing but texturing. So uh, in order to make most, most uh, presentable 
uh, model we are going to use texturing. Next is rendering. So as the scene starts to become more detailed and precise, so we get closer to the final result. Now, once the texturing and lighting gets completed, uh, one, one can proceed to render the screen. So that is uh, some of the mistakes or some of the errors are uh, seen in the uh, given 3D model. So then uh, we can uh, perform the rendering if there are any imperfections which are the part of the real world, which is why a big part of our 3D team efforts will be to add some of the flaws in order to make the 3D model look more alive. The next is post processing whenever uh, this, some of the noise disturbances are there or uh, some of the errors are there. So these are removed by considering the post processing software. So as we'll uh, do in uh, the digital image processing, the post processing after uh, the design gets completed, 3D model gets completed. So we need to perform post processing uh, uh, technique. So here uh, we are going to use uh, some of the effects as well as uh, use photo filters in order to make the scene more appealing. So also lighting uh, is one of the essential tool which is uh, used in order to make the 3D model look as realistic as possible. So why uh, 3D modeling is important? So in order to consider the design to be realistic, quick and easy. Uh, so with uh, 3D modeling, you can show your product more realistically and uh, you know, 3D modeling technique is easy and simple for the designers. Designers before finalizing all the important aspects can evaluate the project from uh, different angles and they can also make the changes before making the prototype. Then second reason is you can expand the design. So by using 3D modeling software, you can design any type of features. So in other words, you can make different shapes of your own choice. So not just the shape, you can easily make uh, the complex patterns with just a click. And uh, next is easy corrections and remodeling. So if you make minor or major changes in your physical uh, project, you won't be able to see its impact. But uh, by using uh, 3D modeling, it becomes easier for the designers to inspect uh, the overall design. If you think your project needs remodeling, you can easily do it with uh, 3D modeling software without any additional cost and expense. Then uh, next is it increases the quality and efficiency. So more interesting application of 3D modeling is uh, it's used in the combination of 2D techniques. So this combination helps designers in exploring the new creative workflows. So in this manner, the efficiency and uh, uh, the productivity of the designer increases. Then the last is it is better for the project approvals. So with 3D modeling of your project, you can easily compel and uh, satisfy the project prospect and the prospect can see a uh, little details you are uh, you have worked on. So with 2D drawings, you cannot do so. And uh, by using 3D modeling, it uh, multiplies the chances of approval. Even after approval, if uh, the prospect requires changes, you can do the changes without investing much time. So all these are about uh, the uh, 3D modeling and uh, uh, why it is required, what are the advantages of the 3D modeling. So by using 3D modeling, one can uh, design the, uh, the uh, model easily, simple, in simple manner, without any errors, and uh, by using effective, uh, efficient and effective manner. And uh, these are performed with the help of different steps like uh, post-processing, sorry, um, first is blocking, second is detailing, then rendering, then followed by post-processing. So now we'll consider a uh, discussion on application and case study based on GIS. So augmented and virtual reality is still uh, one of the emerging technology. So this makes use of different uh, tools. So different components such as environment, user, platform. So it is based on different users, different types of users, different types of platforms. Again, the software and hardware matters. Again, it makes use of interaction devices and techniques, presentation tools, anchor, uh, sorry, authoring, tracking and registration, display technology, rendering. So all these are performed on the data. So from IIS to GIS. So if you consider the information system, 
So information, if we, if we move the information system to graph, uh, geographical information system, so we are going to consider different components like the personnel, that is uh, the users, software, data, type of the data, and hardware, hardware components. So this is the chain representing the GIS uh, or uh, data processing. So no real time um, processing is considered from the field acquisition is considered. We are going to acquire the data, then archiving. So they are combined together, performing the analysis, then displaying. So if you consider the real time, the same is considered and it is uh, by using the AR augmented reality. So this is the augmented map. Uh, so one of the uh, um, technique which is used in order to uh, view the scene is by using augmented map. Again, visualization and interaction with uh, GIS. So if you consider the visualization of data, so this is uh, considered with respect to GIS and interaction with the paddle interaction. That is, uh, we can use this uh, device in order to view the scene. So again, uh, it helps in finding your way inside a building. If you consider a building, so we can um, uh, find the inside uh, the building. You can view the different objects or different uh, um, locations by using GIS. So it helps in finding a book in a library. Again, the view is considered. View of monuments uh, from Westminster uh, Bridge, we consider this. So we can assign different uh, the, the monument, the name of these monuments, we can assign the labels. So peak AR, so it is an application combining AR and uh, GIS on mobiles. So we can uh, represent different uh, distances of different cities or mountains by using uh, GIS application on mobiles. Assisted car driving application combining GIS and uh, AR. So if we consider uh, integrating uh, virtual reality and uh, GIS tools for ge uh, geological mapping, so we are going to consider uh, three objects. First is VR scenario building, then uh, it results in VR software. Data collection in IVR resulting in GIS software. So it is, uh, it is uh, given to data analysis in GIS resulting in new out outcomes. So it is uh, considered with respect to calculation of excavated volume and new thematic maps. So by using uh, VR and GIVR, so this is used in order to find the visual discovery framework. One can use the glasses for uh, the headwear. So one can now uh, find the locations of geographical information system. So this is uh, one of the case study where we are going to locate some of the uh, some of the places or some of the locations. So these are assigned with the labels also. So ground, uh, the underground uh, localities also represented in Melbourne. So that is represented by augmented reality GIS. So for this we are going to use arc gis the tools which the tool which is used in order to find the locations is called arc gis so if we consider uh, the integrated application so the potential of uh, gis er vr so these are combined together so they, they may include uh, but not limited to mapping of natural and uh, built environments to provide a 360 degree access from anywhere in the world so it also includes 3D mapping in order to show the locations, assets, terrain, utilities, and energy uh, resources. So it brings the data to life through immersive visualization. So one of the uh, other uh, case studies in education system. So most of the applications are uh, based on the immersive environment that experiences for educational and training purposes. So that is with respect to civil protection uh, personnel and uh, useful, especially for the situations of where real scenarios, uh, scenarios are not easily accessible by the humans. 
So these are the some examples that is uh, in, in case of earthquake experiences, tsunami uh, evacuation and smart cities. So we are going to use uh, the ArcGIS. So in order to find these locations or in order to experience so the uh, ARVR. <coughs> So here we are going to consider some of the technologies uh, with respect to ARVR. So here we are going to use Unity interface and Unreal Engine, Euphoria Engine, then uh, Content. Also we are going to use Kula software in order to get the real view of uh, the given scene, the localities. So these are the technologies, hardware technology and software technology. So software technology making use of Unity interface as well as Euphoria Engine. Also, we are going to use the hardware technology in terms of 360 degree camera and real engine and uh, content AI. So coming to the conclusions and future work, rapid developments in the computer technology are opening new application frontiers for VRGIS and ARGIS in the domains of education. So also uh, looking at the future, there are virtually no limits to the possibilities, uh, possibilities of uh, VR and ARGIS in uh, civil protection. So ARGIS capability on uh, the mobile device allows the users to confidently localize the content and produce the geo-referenced information. So one can use 3D Viewer uh, plugin in order to permit the advanced visualization of the special assets useful for civil protection scenarios. So if you consider uh, the one of the uh, use case in uh, remote sensing and uh, GIS. So it is used uh, in order to support the same nav navigation and inland and uh, coastal uh, water zones. Just a minute. So we propose a new solution uh, to assist the sailors in uh, safe navigation on inland shallow waters by using augmented and virtual reality. And uh, more existing uh, products present navigation content on 2D or uh, 3D maps on screen. So AR technology uh, revolutionizes uh, the way digital content is displayed. So again, uh, some of the mobile augmented reality applications are presented. So these are used, supported by the virtual reality uh, GIS, Geographic in Information System. So one of the uh, organization which is called uh, the Environmental System Research Institute, that is ESRI. The full form of ESRI is the Environmental System uh, Research Institute. So ESRI defined one of the application so this is used in order to find the hidden assets with AR. So hidden elements are found by using Euphoria as well as uh, the other interfaces. By considering uh, these applications, one can uh, visualize the hidden assets, hidden locations. So SC achieved, achieved uh, great success when impl implemented an application in the petroleum industry. So at the best practice, so uh, it is used. It's uh, built ready uh, ARGIS. So it is uh, the it makes use of the framework and uh, lens in order to improve their geospatial data on remote well pads. So these are the combined technologies. So here we are going to use uh, the building uh, information models, AR apps together, VR apps together, and IoT techniques. So here we are combining IoT with VR, VR apps as well as building information systems. So these are combined together in order to make most uh, efficient uh, uh, application together. So how does uh, VM advance by using VR, VR technology in construction? So this is uh, one of the application where uh, we are going to use the VIM uh, in order to advance the ARVR in construction. 
and uh, we are integration in uh, BIM capacities. So we are in BIM capacities. So this is how the real world with uh, the virtual uh, elements looks like. So these are the BR and BIM capacities. Architectural engineering construction management professionals. So these recognize BR applications by making it easier for the clients to visualize the designs earlier, shaving the material cost and reducing the number of workers needed for the projects. So mo moving further, it makes use of walkthrough. Different ways are used. So this makes use of walkthrough, consulting data and Unity 3D model. So these are used in order to make the uh, the uh, geographical information system models to be built in an efficient manner. So ARBR, the difference is VR technology immerses the user into a surrounding augmented reality overlays and positions the virtual things in the real world. IoT, which is considered to be a revolution. So it is an interconnection of various physical devices which can exchange the information among the themselves and provide the real time. When now mixing realities, that is AR, VR with MR, again it is combined with IoT. So at merging physical and digital world, it aimed at merging uh, the physical and digital world. So points which I have covered coming to the end of this session. Introduction to ARVR, brief discussion on applications of ARVR in architecture, construction, transportation. We have considered different uh, uh, displays also, video displays. And uh, scope of ARVR in surveying and uh, GIS engineering. Applications of ARVR in surveying and uh, GIS engineering. 3D modeling and uh, case studies which covers S3 and uh, the education, navigation and uh, navigation and remote sensing. So combined technologies with ARVR considering BIM, IoT with ARVR. So these led to the uh, more uh, evolutionary models in the future. So coming to the conclusion. The emerging technologies of augmented reality, virtual reality has tremendous scope and useful applications in uh, civil areas like construction, architecture and uh, transportation. To increase the productivity, exploring the new techniques, training and research, worker safety, skill adaptivity, ARBR become a huge support. Also with the combination of various IT technologies and some, uh, some uh, civil softwares, ARVR can give uh, various real life applications in order to enhance different private sectors. So all these are uh, about uh, this session. So uh, if you have any doubts or questions. So with this uh, we'll uh, conclude the session. So we have discussed uh, various aspects of ARVR, introduction to ARVR, then applications of ARVR in architecture, construction, transportation, applications of ARVR in uh, surveying and GIS, 3D modeling, case studies, as well as uh, combined technologies with ARVR. So let me thank to organizing team for uh, giving me the opportunity uh, to deliver this session. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, just a, uh, just a wait for two minutes, guys. Just a wait for two minutes.
So uh, let me focus on uh, the applications in the form of YouTube videos. So let us uh, see uh, the civil engineering VR. Hello. Uh, so all dear participants, uh, there we start the question and sessions, uh, question and answer session uh, at the early uh, in this in this session because we have the Google quiz uh, for 9 to 9.30 p.m. That's why we start the question answer session at soon. So there is question answer session from 8.30 to 8.50. If you have any query, then please ask, ask with ma'am. Any one of you, but you also ask the questions uh, by the uh, use of WhatsApp. Hello. Any one of you participants, if you have any query, then please ask. Uh, I think you uh, not have any query. So, ma'am, can we uh, discuss some quick questions? Okay, hello, uh, hello, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, hello? please ask. Yes, yes, sir. Actually, I don't have doubt in regarding any uh, this session, but actually, I want to ask: Will it be possible for you to provide the recording link also of the of these sessions? Uh, sure, sir. <laughs> After the completion of uh, FDP, sir. Okay, okay, sure. Okay, thank you. Ah, thank sure, you. Sir. Sir. No, sure. okay, sure. Thank you. So, ma'am, can we discuss some questions related to this session? Ah, uh, yes, yes, sure. Okay. Okay. So okay. we'll take some questions. So okay. we'll ask uh, the faculty, uh, the participants. So how uh, they are, uh, how much they are getting benefited from this uh, FDP sessions? So first question is, uh, 
how augmented reality and virtual reality help to civil area can anyone tell uh, answer can anyone answer this question how augmented reality and virtual reality help to uh, civil area hello bye good evening yes ma'am i think it uh, provide a realistic view yes and the argument reality and virtual reality in civil area and they provide a, a exact design how it uh, look after uh, completion yes great can anyone answer this question any other uh, any other answers like in case of ar architectural design architectural plan civil and construction environmental uh one one more point i want to add ma'am uh, actually this uh, thing will also very much satisfy our clients as well mm. so uh, as a client who are not very much familiar about the civil background so on the visual appearance they will be very much satisfied yes by using so uh, use stc wipe the yeah. uh, wear uh, if we wear uh, that uh, headset and uh, 360 degree camera we can have uh, uh, the view of entire uh, uh, is uh, augmented with uh, the real world yes, is any other answers <laughs> interior designing also um, getting more efficient by using uh, hrpr technique and uh, if you consider uh, the gis geographic information system and surveying so as i have told uh, most of the localities can be easily uh, uh, laid down easily uh, detected uh, by considering uh, the ar gis and uh, vr gis tools even uh, google map is an example of one of the gis tool so we can uh, uh, get the location or location routes maps then second question is uh, is google map is a gis have already given the answer yes 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 it is uh, one of the gis tool so it uh, not actually uh, not accurate but uh, it is it comes under uh, gis so it gives uh, the locality of some of the uh, routes or locations you can uh, uh, in uh, daily routine now uh, we are using uh, google maps everyone are uh, using google map then uh, third question is uh, what is the purpose of using arc gs arc gis yeah gis so this tool is used in order to again now uh, find the locations maps underground utilities as well as uh, the hidden assets as uh, i have shown one of the case study the example of uh, the isri so isri is one of the organization so it is a research institute so that makes use of uh, some of the databases related to the civil construction as well as architectural plans other assets so it makes use of uh, the database as well as uh, some of the solutions as well as softwares hardwares so all getting under one of the roof uh, that is uh, isri so what is the purpose of using arcgis it is used to locate the uh, maps locations underground utilities all these things ground level elements then uh, next question is what database does s3 use so it makes use of uh, one of the uh, database that is called uh, the we we'll give the answers so arcgis online is a cloud based mapping and analysis solution it is used to make maps analyze the data and in order to share and collaborate get access to workflow specific apps maps and uh, the data from around the globe and the tools for being mobile in the world and the second question that is uh, uh, which database is used in s3 so enterprise do database is the foundation for building the large scale gis with arc gis server enterprise so it is a system for managing the information organizing visualizing the maps and data analyzing the relations analyzing the relationships patterns over any geography 
and it also allows to design, plan, perform, and uh, predictive analytics. Then uh, Google Maps is Google Map is comes under the GIS. Google Maps is probably the most widely used in uh, used uh, GIS platform. So although it is uh, not necessarily the best tool, uh, it, uh, best tool for uh, complex data visualization, but it is extremely robust and e e easy to locate the devices as well as it is uh, better for the demonstration of the routes and uh, journey types. So um, all of us uh, are using uh, the Google Maps in uh, the uh, every day. So these are the answers for the questions. So what is the purpose of ArcGIS and uh, which database is used by the uh, S3? And uh, the next is. What is uh, GIS data management? So the answer is. It is a system for managing the information, organizing and visualizing uh, the maps and data and analyzing the relationships and patterns over any geography. And this allows us to design, plan and perform the predictive analytics. Is uh, any any queries from your side? Uh, dear participants, uh, have you uh, a, uh, any any queries from your side? If you have any queries. No, 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 no. So I think uh, the session is uh, boring. Not at all, ma'am. Uh, are you getting bored? No, ma'am. This is not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma not at all. Okay, fine. Actually, the things you are explaining, uh, ma'am. Actually, the things you are explaining, we are understanding the things. Okay, fine. Uh, Saru, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can we expect some uh, feedback from uh, participants about the uh, session? Sure, ma'am. Sure. sure. If you want to so share your feedback, to our, yes. yes, you can share. So uh, as I am from uh, computer science and engineering background, so I'm not aware about uh, you, the uh, civil Thank engineering you. aspects. Thank you for this. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, I'm audible, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank you for this wonderful session. Thank you for sharing your experience. And indeed, it was a wonderful session. OK, so uh, uh, thank you to ma'am. Uh, this is really so good session. Uh, you also explained some videos here also and some animations pictures. So uh, dear all participants, uh, I just explain you the offline sessions uh, uh, of our uh, second week. Uh, which is start from 12th of September to 16th of September. In which we have the uh, first sessions of first first day's inauguration session, uh, 9 to 9:30. Then our first session uh, is 9:30 to 12. It is the uh, session number seven, uh, concrete crack assessment using digital image processing. And then we uh, visit some uh, tech uh, some uh, technical uh, visit here uh, like uh, Bahamasa Techno Hub Jaipur, very interesting place, and. Uh, we also have some other industrial visits, uh, maybe in uh, day one, means 12th of September, or uh, day five, 16th of September. Then we also have the uh, two sessions in uh, day two, uh, session eight and uh, session nine. Session eight is related to payment die stress assessment uh, with the help of uh, ARVR, and session nine is related to crack propagation. Uh, with the uh, related to ARVR. Session 7 or Session 9 is some kind of difference. Session 7 is just crack, uh, concrete crack, crack assessment, and Session 9 is crack propagation. 
so it is uh, not the similar sessions. Uh, then uh, day three, session 10, uh, in which we discuss about the soil fabric uh, valuation related to uh, construction project. Uh, and then session 11 after lunch, which is related to uh, civil engineering uh, aspects like safety uh, assessment and improve the worker safety, which is very important for industrial uh, point of view. Then uh, day four, session 12, uh, in which we discuss the monitor or and control traffic congestion using 3D model because uh, traffic congestion is the main problem in current scenario. And then the after lunch, uh, there is a session of urban texture analysis. And then the last day uh, we have a session, very interesting session, analysis of building progress and automatically make measurement against the plan and utilize for surveying tasks. And then after this, uh, it is very important to understand guys, uh, after lunch, there is a session related to reflection journals means uh, we discuss some journals related to AR VR in civil engineering. And uh, after the discussion of uh, journals one by one, we also uh, provide you a assessment test. So uh, before the starting the session, uh, before starting the today session, I already explained we have three assessments after online, after offline and reflection journal assessment. OK. So if you have any doubt related to these, please ask me. You have any doubt, guys? OK, uh, no, sir, so, we are not having any doubts. OK, so so before before the taking break, uh, uh, I just uh, explained. For that, I, I want to you share. Uh, I want to share one thing. So, uh, uh, in our institute, KIT is College of Engineering, Kolapur. So, that is located in uh, Maharashtra, Western Maharashtra. So, we are having uh, the uh, Computer Science and Engineering branch, then Environmental Science Engineering, Civil Engineering, and uh, Mechanical uh, me uh, and uh, Biotechnology also we are having. So, most uh, reputed uh, institute uh, among uh, Maharashtra. And uh, you have mentioned in your uh, welcome speech that the kids, kids, it is not kids, it is KITs, Kolapur Institute of Technologies, College of Engineering, <laughs> not kids. <laughs> and uh, we, we have uh, well established uh, ARVR lab, immersive virtual reality lab in our uh, college. So under which uh, we are uh, um, performing some of the experiments, assignments, projects. So we have also got uh, some uh, funding projects under uh, ARVR. And also our uh, website, under website, uh, uh, our website, uh, which is based on virtual walkthrough, virtual walkthrough of the college using uh, 360 degree camera. So that has, this uh, has already implemented by using these techniques. And also 3D modeling of uh, our labs as well as uh, infra, infra of our college. So this has been uh, implemented by using these techniques. <clears throat> so that's from uh, my end. Over to you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, so guys, uh, we also have some uh, special gadgets related to AR VR. So I am requesting to you, please join us uh, offline also because we have HTC Vive. Uh, Ma'am discuss in uh, her lecture, her session, HTC Vive. So we also have HTC Vive. We also have Oculus. We also have the Idea Lab, which is a single one lab uh, of in the Jaipur. Uh, no one have the Idea Lab uh, in the private colleges, not in government. But so we have uh, different types of labs. So your experience is really so good if you come here. So I requesting to you all, please join us offline also. We are really uh, make your day and uh, we are provide you actual view AR and VR because we have HTC Vive, we have Oculus, we have different types of AR VR kits. So please join us. 
so i requesting to you all please switch on your camera for a group photograph thank you ma'am some more guys there is a last uh, of online session please switch on your camera i requesting to all okay so i just take it yes some one more okay thank you uh, thank you to switch on your cameras so guys uh, it is just a 10 minutes break after this i am here uh and i provide you a uh, google quiz in the whatsapp and uh, same time in mail also so please do it uh the quiz is open at sharp 9 am at the closing time is 9:35 am uh, sorry 9 pm and the closing time is 9:35 pm so please submit it uh, before time because there is no option of auto submission i repeat there is no option of auto submission so please submit it uh, within time and meanwhile i am present here so if you have any query then please ask me so it is a time of break 10 minutes break then i provide you the quiz thank you thank you sir Thank you so much. Thank you. So we can leave the session, sir. Yes, sir. If you uh, not have any query, then you leave. Uh, but I am here uh, for the session nine to nine thirty p.m. Also, if you have any query, meanwhile, then please join us. Okay. Okay. Noted, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, all. Uh, the quiz is already open. Please do it. And uh, the close time of quiz is uh, nine thirty-five. in well if you have any query then please ask
उधर तो हेलो यस एनीवन हैव सम क्वेरी हेलो यस सो आई होप सो क्विज इज इंटरेस्टिंग यस सर ओके आई गॉट ऑल थ्री रेस्पॉन्सेज ऑलरेडी ओके गुड फोर राइट नो फोर so meanwhile i again explain the uh, uh offline sessions so please join us in offline sessions uh you really so enjoy ye matlab ye main vaada karta hu aapse ki aap sabhi enjoying karenge offline sessions ko kyunki jo vr ar ki yahan par jitni bhi baatein hui hain abhi tak un sab ko aap really feel karoge we have different types of kits uh we have uh, htc vive oculus and uh, we have different types of uh, high configuration systems for uh, these kits so a complete environment hai yahan par jo aap feel karoge and uh, we have uh, experts from reputed institutes iits Uh, and uh, nits so please come and join us in offline sessions also and because of uh, attendance is also com compulsory so please join us and if you have any query related the offline sessions then i am here please ask me score is good to all uh, who is uh, submitted right now but i am uh, score is not released yet uh, we send it by mail after the completion of uh, fdp and also you get the uh, score in atal portal after the fdp Sorry, sir. This is Varsha. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, is my response has been submitted or not? Okay, just check, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I guess, sir. Actually, my screen uh, is totally blank. That's why I'm asking. Okay, D Varsha. You are making yes, the start yes. as D Varsha. Okay. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Submitted. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am.
Hello. Uh, so guys, please do fast. And only remaining last few minutes. So if you not submit yet, please do fast. Only 13 responses submitted yet. Hello, Indra sir. Hello. Hello, yes sir. Yes sir. Uh, can you con confirm that my information is submitted? Okay, Vlad Kumar sir. Okay, just a yes. minute. Sir. Yes. Uh, what is your mail ID sir? Okay, Vlad Kumar one. Yes sir, at yahoo.com. Okay. Yes, yes sir, submitted. Okay, thank, thank you for coming. Confirmation sir. Thank you sir, thank you. Uh, Desh Sarma, sir, please confirm your mail ID, sir. Hello, Dev Sarma, sir. Okay, Sarma Devendra 2019. Then, sir. Yes, Rakim, I'm done. Thank you so much.
Okay, to all participants, thank you so much. Please join us uh, in offline sessions again. Uh, I close the uh, quiz. So thank you to all. Good night. Goodbye. <clears throat>